Hello, my name is Erminio Hernan. Pleased to meet you. Here we are right now, feeling our way around this car. It's hard work. These horses cause endless troubles because of their age and because it's impossible to get spare parts. In truth, there is a lack of logistics for this spare parts market. Imagine, we have to order them from Argentina. These cars were solidly made. They came here straight from the United States. Imagine a small country like this, which received a small percentage of U.S. car production. Inside, it might have a European engine from 15 years ago, or a steering wheel from another model. In any case, a car with all the parts of the same make will always be more valuable. These cars have lasted not only due to their materials, but also because of the way they have been cared for, passed down from generations. In the words of Eusebio Leal, may he rest in peace, historian of the city, Havana cannot be understood without its sea and its port. Originally, at the start of this street where we are... Just look at those curves, those sinuous lines. No doubt about it, that was the style back then. Though there's no one around right now, 
Normally, every day there are a lot of people moving around. It's a busy street because all of its shops and workshops. The houses have undergone several restorations, and a great deal of effort is being invested in that, in the maintenance of all these wonderful constructions which make Havana the most singular city in the Caribbean. One curiosity, one of the first, if not the first, famous song in the cha-cha-cha style was about a story that took place along this street, La Engañadora, by Enrique Jorín. What music? What memories?